Johnstown? I would have graduated in 64. How did you decide to join the Navy and why did you do it when you did? Well, I decided to join the Navy because of the Vietnam War was coming on. They were starting to draft a lot of people. Well, I decided I'm not going to get drafted. I'm going to enlist. And that's what I did. I enlisted and I was very proud to do that. I uh, was not going to let a communist party take over our land. And my father was in World War II. My grandpa was in World War I. We come from a very strong family, a very religious family. All of my brothers, <laughs> we all went in different branches of the service. And Thanksgiving, Christmas, boy, did we have some talks. So you joined the Navy, you were 17, is that correct? I was 17. They called us kitty cruisers when I went in. I could only do shore duty for the first year, which I went to New London, Connecticut, submarine base. I became a shipfitter welder. I welded. We was on the Cuban Missile Block Aid. But I got into heating and air conditioning when I come back. Uh, my dad worked for Buckeye Heating, which was down on Summit Street. He got me in there. I uh, took out a lot of old coal-fired furnaces. They had like about four inches of asbestos on top of the plantums. That's where my lungs got kind of messed up. No no protection like we have today. However, I developed stage four cancer that has taken me out, but I'm working with the Lord and the Lord's working with me. And I got a great team of people praying. And I'm so thankful that I'm coming back alive. The last word I got from the Lord, he said, enjoy your new life. I want to beat this stuff. And that's kind of my story. I'm proud to be able to tell you guys that, and I'm very honored for you folks to listen to me. What does it mean to you to receive the diploma now? I mean, obviously, this is something you've thought about for a time. My whole life. Really? My whole life. Yeah. My whole life. It's been, it's been a way of life. And I met my wife 52 years ago, which is one of the finest farm girls I ever met in my life. <laughs> Diploma to me means that I can show my children, my grandchildren, that they need to continue their education. And the children today need college education if they want to mount to something, because I do not want them to have to endure the pain and agony that I had to go through in life to get to this point to where I'm leaving this world early. And it's, it's, it's really hard on me. I have a hard time talking. I have a hard time sleeping. Keeps me up at night. But I'm sure that with a diploma, I'm sure that they will continue to do their finest. And I've always wanted my grandkids to do great in life. And that's about as simple as it gets. He's got one of the new ones. We just released that. And the resolution reads to approve military graduation for James W. Metz Jr., who would have graduated with the Johnstown High School class of 1964, but had left school at the age of 17 to serve in the U.S. Navy during the Vietnam War. Service with the U.S. Navy during the Vietnam War, including service aboard the USS Fort Snelling, as well as during the Cuban Missile Crisis blockade in accordance with Ohio Revised Code 3313-616 and in accordance with the Johnson Monroe Local School District Board Policy 9800, it is our distinct pleasure to inform you that you have satisfied all the requirements to earn a high school diploma and to graduate from Johnstown High School. It is our district privilege to have you as an alumnus of Johnstown High School as a member of the graduating class of 1964. Your signature below certifies that you've completed the requirements to graduate. Congratulations. I'd like to ask you to sign two copies. There's a second copy.
copy for you too if you want to see if I have one in the So I'm going to introduce uh, the high school principal, Mrs. King, and she'll read her provisions. I'll I read. would like to begin the ceremony to present you with your diploma. By the power vested in me as the principal of Johnstown High School, I certify that Mr. James Metz Jr. has completed the requirements to be eligible to receive his high school diploma. Dr. Wagner, I am both humbled and honored to present Mr. James W. Metz Jr. as a graduate of Johnstown High School. Thank you, Mrs. King, as superintendent of the Johnstown Monroe Schools, and on behalf of the Ohio Department of Education and the Johnstown Monroe Board of Education, I accept your recommendation. Therefore, Mr. Metz, you are now considered a high school graduate of Johnstown High School. Board members, I'd like to ask you to vote if you could right now uh, on our resolution. Mrs. Thomas? Yes. Mrs. Davis? Yes. Mr. Swagger? Yes. Mrs. Boer? Yes. Mr. Benton? Yes. Thank you. So this makes it official. So if I can ask the Board of Education to come over and Mr. Metz, we'd like to have you shake the hands of the board thing. Mr. Swalker, you have a copy of the diploma. An actual real diploma has your name on it. Everything is certified. So if we can shake hands. Thank you very much. I have a very short statement to make. The finest thing that a grandparent can hear is I made the honor roll, Grandpa. I tell him to find Grandma, get my wallet, <laughs> and give them a reward. With God's help, my mission has been accomplished. Thank you all for your your time this evening, and I truly appreciate it. Thank you.